wet weekend in many parts of the UK. And the bad news is that more of the same is to follow in the days ahead. As West Sussex Fire and Rescue Service battle to keep the waters from an electrical substation. In Devon, a family-run pub collapsed following torrential rain. Okay, so we've uh, made it down to Corpco. We've got a, uh, a split load on here, so Andrew's got uh, the bulk of this. Uh, I've got around 90 or so boxes in total. So we're just taking them off at the moment and then we'll uh, go ahead and figure out what's what. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Ashley's clearly spied one with his name on. <laughs> So yeah, we've got to uh, just wait to get this unloaded and then we've uh, parked the van there so we have to reverse that out so we can be able to get this one in. Uh, but yeah, so far so good. Doesn't look like there's uh, many damaged boxes or anything like that, so we're looking good. I think the lads are just about getting the pallet truck now in the back to be able to get the rest out because that is literally floor to ceiling full. Considering the storms that we showed at the start of the video, it's absolutely lovely and glorious today. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed, everything's made a safe crossing. These boys have made some good time, to be fair. They left the farm in Poland yesterday. Uh, I think it was about 10 to 12. Um, and they've got here at two o'clock, so they have made really, really good time. Uh, obviously they do get the hour, uh, the hour and a half sort of difference back. Um, but yeah, we'll get these loaded up, get them back, and uh, show you exactly what we've got. Don't forget as well, the coil that you're gonna see in this video are available on the new direct debit scheme as well. Um, I think I've just seen an emu or an ostrich. Give me two seconds, let me spin you around. We've got some chickens and a dock. But over the back there, there's actually like some emus or ostriches. Anybody tell me what they are? All right, snap back to in a sec, let's go. Okay, so in the last video that we did, we mentioned about the koi sale that we are doing. Now, that is on our Nisai, and that is also on our Tosai that we've had in um, for around three or four months now. Just showcasing, like I say, that we are one of the biggest and best shishiki or importers in the UK. Now, as I explained on the previous video, let me just shut this door. I'm uh, sitting in the car to stay nice and warm. Um, just while the, uh, the bastard actually empties itself. So what we've had is we've had approval to run quite a large sale on some of our uh, previous Nissoys um, and our Tosoys as well, because we purchase fish in different grades, you see? So we have X grade, double X grade, and then hand selected grades. The last import that we imported in was 170 hand selected koi. Now, there's some of these koi that are hyper, hyper, hyper special. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm actually going to be photographing a lot of these koi and actually placing them up onto reeferoasiskoifarm.com. But what I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to be having a jig round inside of uh, the farm itself. So we have our shower pond, uh, or should I say our Gosanki pond, which is the window pond, uh, which is pond three inside of the Koi Academy. Now, what I actually want to be able to do is I want to be able to push the Sumi to, to really develop out over winter. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to move in those, I, I've cooled those down uh, from sort of 22 down to sort of um, 11 degrees, because what I want to do is I want to get them down to ambient, ambient temperature so I can move them in uh, to Q3 tunnel, which is our quarantine three tunnel. I'm actually going to be placing these into pond two. Now, the reason for that is I really want to be able to push the sewing development out over winter on these. Now, that then gives me five and a half thousand gallons. So I've got 40,000 litres in the outdoor basin, and I have got around about 110 fish in there. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be keeping 60 outdoors and then I'm going to be moving 60 indoors to the window pond as well. That way then we can do a more in-depth highlight reel over these over winter. Um, and like I say, any of the fish that are purchased uh, that are inside of the polytunnel obviously do include uh, the heated grow-on fee as well. 
Now, any of the crew that are available on reeforoasiscrewfarm.com, uh, they are available on our new direct debit payment method. Basically, what that means is you select the option on the website to zero the cost of the fish. What happens then is me or one of the uh, members of the team, I'll actually go ahead and give you a call. Now, sneak peek, yes, I said members of the team. Um, one, me or one of the members of the team will actually give you a call to go ahead and set that direct debit payment up. So let's say, for example, you buy a koi for £100. You could make a payment of £20 and then you can split the remaining £80 over four months, making any of the koi super duper, super duper, super duper affordable to you guys. <coughs> it's just our way of looking at it, thinking, OK, well, we know things are tight. We know Christmas is coming. So what can we do to be a little bit different? Like I say, we are striving to be the biggest and the best koi farm in the United Kingdom. It's not going to happen overnight and it's definitely not going to happen without all of your guys' support. So I do appreciate you all and I do want you all to know that I've got mad love for you. Now, enabling me to split the fish out enables me to increase the feed on these fish as well. So these fish aren't just going to be housed over winter. These fish are actually going to be pushed for some serious growth. We are that close. And I know I've been saying it for a while, but we are that close now to getting the tunnel covered. Like I say, keep your eyes peeled on the website because every single day there will, there will be at least 20 new koi going up onto the website. You will also note that on after your order is placed, you will actually receive an email asking if this is a Christmas purchase or not. If it's not, just simply let us know. No, it's not a Christmas purchase. Now, if it is, that's where we're doing something extra special. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be sending over a Christmas pamphlet to you guys. This will arrive by the 10th of December. So any Christmas purchases after the 10th of December, you need to give us a call and say, Jack, this is a Christmas purchase. Just so we have enough time to be able to get the photos of your koi over to the printers. The printers will then make a brochure of your koi with your certificate, pop it in a really, really nice, lovely um, A4 red letter envelope, and then that will be posted out to you guys. And then on Christmas morning, you will get an automated video sent out, which the video would have been filmed within the last five days, which is a personal message all about your koi. So your partners, your better halves, your children, your in-laws, whoever it may be, family, friends, have got their own dedicated video to be able to watch on Christmas. And this, again, uh, will need to be done by the 20th. Any purchases after the 20th, that service will not be available. Uh, it's just our way of being able to give your loved ones uh, an extra special sort of uh, present to be able to open. Yes, it's an email, but still technically it's a present. Um, where they can actually see their koi, uh, we'll go through size measurements, what we think it's going to do in relation to coloration-wise and stuff like that. Again, I think it's just another interesting interesting additional service that we're able to offer completely free of charge to you guys like, I, like I've been saying for a while now I've got 30 days of making content left and then I am disappearing off YouTube for 60 days and when we come back onto YouTube we are going to be a completely different and new form there's a hell of a lot of stuff coming over the next sort of 8 to 12 weeks I know I've been saying it for a while, but you will you will have noticed this year, you would have seen a lot of content and then things, then me disappear. A lot of content and then me disappear. And that's because of the extra stuff that I've been doing in the background. But listen, you guys that have been hardcore subscribers and followers of the channel for a while now, will know that I normally let the cat out of the bag by this point. However, I'm not gonna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap back to you all in a second and show you some of these amazing, amazing koi. Let's go. So here's the first seven that I'm going to be moving outside. I'm really liking the way uh, this show has started to develop through since our previous update and same on this one here as well. Soon it's looking really dark, same on the Kindai show as well. So looking forward to moving these outside. I want to try and develop out a little bit more of this one on this one and I want to try and bring the zippers out on here as well. Uh, I really want to try and darken up that Benny that's on there. There's seven there. There's another three, four, Five, six, number seven there, so 14 fish in total. So let me go ahead and uh, sock the rest of these out. 
So that's the fish move out of that bowl and out of that pond there. Uh, I've just set up a temporary little cover over here because when I get underneath with my camera, it takes out all the light, as you can see. This ball here's got a little bit of sedating. Now it's time to go pick the 40 fish I want to keep in the window. These will be available on reeforoasiscoyfarm.com. Let's go. So these here are the first sort of uh, around 14 or so that I want to actually go ahead uh, and drop in here. So we've got a fantastic um, here at Suri, two nice Kajakus, uh, a scale the Chiba. We've got two Dutta Chiba. We've got a Benny Cumin Royu, which I don't know why. It's just, this one just seems to be standing out to me a hell of a lot. I don't know if it's because you don't necessarily see many Benny Cumin Royus. Um, we've got a uh, big blue Achiba in there as well. Female, absolutely huge. Uh, body on that is absolutely sublime. Um, but we've got two Shisui's in here too. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do this video in two parts. I'm going to do one as a part one and one as a part two. Uh, simply due to the fact I'm going to put 20 in today and then I'm going to have another look outside, film another 20, put those in, uh, and then I'll say continue to uh, top the level of this pond up. But for the meantime, let me get these in a bowl and let's get some short footage. Let's go. So I've just photographed one Shisui and put that in and I just thought I'd very quickly uh, snap back just to sort of show you the power on this koi. Obviously it's a little bit lethargic because it's got some sedating out at the moment but look at that zipper all the way through. Big beautiful full bodied female. Nissai coming in at 47 cm. Hyper clean all the way down the Benny there giving it a full Hani Shisui. Absolutely mind-blowingly good. The other one that's already gone in. That's literally casing around there now. So let's get this one out. Or this one in. That one's the female at 47 cm and the male is 49 cm. Again, just thought I'd uh, showcase the big female Kajaku. Very, very rare you get them looking this good. All this here, like I say, it's super stressed at the moment. This here gets a nice vivid dark sort of red especially when I get this back on the uh, Yoshiki Good Pro. Uh, this may potentially be insane at the farm as a broodstock. It is available up on the website, uh, but it may come down because uh, I may actually be keeping this one here as broodstock because she's absolutely incredible. Food queen of the scales looking absolutely immense. You can see there where the sumi is starting to come in on all of them. Big pectoral things, nice clean head. Um, and again, comes in at 49 cm, an absolute whale. She is beautiful. I may actually pair her up with uh, the male I've got here. Because again, that goes a nice vivid deep dark red too. Let's go. Okay, so again, here's the male. So again, this one here may be saying on a broodstock. It is listed on the website at the moment, but I think this one may be too good to let go. Um, when I say too good to let go, I mean too good as in regards to like broodstock was. Uh, you can see here where the sumi is starting to fill in inside the food queen of those scales. You can see already where the head's starting to go a nice deep dark red. Uh, I've seen this in person in Poland and this hair was literally glowing red. It's just because it's been off the food and, it, and it's hyper stressed. You can see the back down here where it's going nice and red, the same as down here. A little tinge of orange here. But absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous looking male. Look at the body power on that big all blue. Achiba, female, absolutely incredible. Look at the size of that peduncle. She got a big fat peduncle, she got a big fat mouth too. She is absolutely gorgeous. I've got two of these on the whole farm. I am super excited about these. Let's go. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this uh, beautiful, beautiful scale of Achiba. A uh, little bit of stress marks here. Uh, that's just from sock netting up a moment ago. Uh, it's only appearing on the grey there, as you'll notice uh, a little bit here on this uh, leading scale here. Um, but all it is, is just where she's showing indications that she's stressed. Obviously, she's just been bowled, photographed, sedated. Uh, she's going to be going to the main pond now, but I mean, look at that. Perfect, perfect window fish. Absolutely incredible. This nice brown is really, really going to start to colour up soon. Looking absolutely fantastic. Look at that. Absolutely incredible. Beautiful, beautiful plumber Chiba. Uh, you can see here how the coloration on the Chiba starts. 
just waiting for this bit here now to fill in that tiny little bit there absolutely gorgeous though again perfect if you've got a window and perfect viewing angle there from above that is the best 150 quid of anybody's money that is genuinely one of the best i had three of these all year and they were the fastest things to move out of the farm coming in at a small nissite at 34 cm but the doitsu are always a slower grower so much potential to come in this fish absolutely incredible so we've just seen a puma chiba we're now looking at an atarashi chiba here as you can see there with the a little bit of ginwin in the scalation at the back. You can already see where it's starting to darken up uh, with the colder, the colder water temperatures. Um, the Chiba literally stands for autumn leaves on water and you can literally see why. Absolutely incredible, perfect shaped head, nice even pectorals going all the way through. Again, small this side, 35 centimeters, but look at the power that's to come. You can see the backbone there all the way throughout the middle. Just absolutely incredible. Yoss Avon does the best achievers in the world. Fact. So the Benny Cum root was gone in the bowl. This literally stood out to me on the farm in Poland, then again in the bag, then again when it was in the basin. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's because the Benny on the head is so clean. I like the little lightning bolt there of the Benny going through the back. Absolutely perfect. If you're looking at a window fish, again, so much character there on the sides as well. Sumi is hyper, hyper dark. Look at that, it's like a mirror. Absolutely mind-blowingly good. Two more left to go though, and then that's the first 14 in. Let's go. Would the pond really be complete without a Sankey? Don't think it would somehow. Absolutely perfect, look at that shape. Perfect sort of cigar torpedo pattern. Coming in at 39cm, absolutely sublime. The Benny is very, very deep. See here where the sumi is coming through there and locking in and there, and the same on here as well. It's got that perfect red, white, black, red, white, black, red, white, black, which is what you're after. Absolutely mind blowing. I love that koi. Let's go. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Technically, it's a sank because it's got the black on the back of it. But it does look like it's receding away. It doesn't look like it's staying, as you can see there. It does look like it's uh, coming away from the scale, uh, as opposed to going into it. So it's looking very, very good. Absolutely sublime looking fish. Picked up a small knot there in transport. But again, this is what we go through as koi dealers and koi farmers. So all that there will uh, fill itself in. It's just not the top first level of the scale off. And a very, very tiny spit fin at the front there, but it's already starting to knit itself in. Look at the head, look at how deep the Benny is, look at how hyper clean the Sirogi is. This is an absolutely fantastic fish. Don't forget, guys, obviously, if it is that you go ahead and you purchase this koi, obviously, the split fin will be fixed for by the time you pick this up in April time. Absolutely mind blowingly good. So, that is the first 14 in the Winder Pond. Uh, the new code on the website so you guys know where your fish are for the Winder Pond is R O K F W. Through for Oasis Cool Farm window. There you go. Uh, first 12, sorry, not 14. First 12 have gone in. I am super duper excited. Hit me up in the comment section down below. What do you guys want to see? I have got six Yamabukis. Uh, I did have eight. Two got purchased off the live stream. One of them was done by Frank McCoy. So I have got uh, eight. No, six. I had eight, I've got six left. Three are going to be coming in out, three are going to be kept outside, see what the difference is in coloration and size. So that's going to be an interesting one to be able to see on there. A little bit of a side quest, if you like, when it comes to fish keeping. Uh, but I, for one, am pausing with these. I'm going to go and pick another eight now to be dropped into here. Um, so we'll do a mini little video on that. Uh, and I'll show you some of the fish in the back pond on the next video. Um, that fell system is up and running for me in an absolute treat. Um, so yeah, I'm going to add eight more on, sort another video, hit me up in the comment section down below what kind of fish do you want to see in the window pond. Other than that, stay safe, stay sane, most importantly people stay happy, Balding Reefer, out.